You know, when I'm holding him and cuddling yeah. him and he smiles back, I mean, what yeah. are you going to do? You have to try harder and you have to give it everything you can. NBC News' is Richard Engel's son Henry has died following a long battle with a rare medical condition. He was six years old. He is happy. He He'll give is. you a little <laughs> smile. Yeah. He's, He's such a good boy. The TV personality shared the news on Twitter, writing, Our beloved son Henry passed away. He had the softest blue eyes, an easy smile, and a contagious giggle. We always surrounded him with love, and he returned it, and so much more. Where do you guys find your strength? Like, I'm looking at two people, and I know that you, you're, you, I can see how strong you are. Where's it come from? From Henry. Henry. Yeah, I mean, you can't um, not get up in the morning. You, you just have to get up and go and do it and take care of him, and, and he's raring to go. Hoda Kotb shared her condolences in a tweet. Oh, Richard, I'm so, so, so sorry. My heart aches for you and your family. We love you. Piers Morgan also chimed in, writing, How incredibly sad. My deepest condolences to you and all your family. It's been a years-long medical journey for Richard and his family. Back in 2018, he and his wife Mary opened up about early signs of Henry's condition. When Henry was born just over two years ago, he made our life complete. The sweetest, happiest boy. But almost right away, something didn't seem quite right. The problem was Henry wasn't really progressing. He wasn't sitting up when he should. He wasn't uh, clapping his hands when he should. We went to every doctor we could find. Following many tests, the doctor found Henry had Rett syndrome, a rare genetic neurological and developmental disorder that affects the way the brain develops. It's rare in boys and untreatable. Doctors have told us Henry will likely never walk, talk, dress himself, or have the mental capacity beyond a toddler. And that health problems are likely coming as well. Kids with this mutation tend to have epilepsy or seizures of some kind. No matter what's coming, we want Henry to know he's loved. Despite the struggles, Richard felt compelled to share their experience to help others. It's not a story that anybody wants to, to tell, and yeah. it was very difficult for us, but we wanted to raise awareness uh, to make other families with special needs children, children who are challenging, know that they're not alone. Yep. It can feel very lonely. While his son was in treatment, researchers were hard at work on advancing a cure for the disease. Henry's mutation is unique in the world. But it, it, because it's unique is what makes it so valuable. Sometimes from the rarest thing, you can learn the most. And following Henry's death, Richard reveals that his little boy's legacy will someday help others. Quote, researchers are making amazing progress using Henry's cells to help cure Rett syndrome so others don't have to endure this terrible disease.